Dan, it gives me great pleasure to welcome uh, a new Wraith Rovers player to the squad. Um, do you want to give us an introduction? Do you want to tell us who you are? And do you want to tell us um, in terms of your deal here at Wraith Rovers? Um, yeah, obviously I'm Daniel O'Reilly. Um, I'm a defender, centre-back, and my last club was Hamilton, as you know. <laughs> um, I'm here till January, and then who knows after that. But look, I'm really happy to be here. Um, I want to try contribute as much as I can. Seems like a really great group of lads, and obviously the team are doing really well now. So uh, hopefully I can help that. Let's get the easiest question out of the way, and it's the one that everybody will say, "Oh, that's the guy. You are the guy from the cup final." Um, we're having a wee bit of a smile because ultimately you you left with the, the winners' medal, um, albeit it was an early early bath came alongside it as well. That's where maybe um, most Rovers fans maybe recall you from. Um, Moving beyond that, tell us a wee bit about your game, tell us about what you bring, tell us about what your key attributes are. Yeah, so I know it sounds cliche, but I like to defend, um, try to be aggressive in both boxes, and I try, you know, be a leader. I'm at an age now, 28, where I think I can help players younger and players around me and try to bring the best out of them. And I think I can influence a game on the ball as well, which is obviously what the way Wraith have tried to play over the last few years which is obviously really attractive and um, yeah. You're, you're relatively local based being over in Hamilton so you've got a great kind of awareness of the Scottish game, you know the championship really well. Um, you, you just touched upon it there, um, the style, the kind of work ethic, the the way the Wraith Rovers go about their business, you, you were saying that that's something that was a, a particular interest for you um, as a free agent looking for it, uh, what your best option was. Yeah, well, obviously, I haven't played against Wraith the last few years. Um, they have a certain style of play, and it's tough to play against at times, especially when you don't set up right as the opposition team. So, obviously, to be part of that now with them is uh, very good for myself. And, um, yeah, look, I've, I've been keeping an eye on results in the league this year, and obviously, Wraith are doing well at the moment. So, hopefully, we can continue to push and uh, stay up there. Initially in on a short term deal to pretty much kind of first week in January, um, possibility to influence that with good performances? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, look, I'm here till January and then like in football, you never know what can happen, but um, I'm settled already. The lads have made me re feel really welcome as of the staff. So um, look, I'm grateful for the opportunity and hopefully I can show the fans and everyone what I'm about as a player. First training session today, looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, look, get stuck in and uh, like I said, I feel settled already, so that always helps. The game's come thick and fast and the championship, as, as you know, is such an incredibly high standard, but uh, we, we divert to Scottish Cup duties, albeit it's a championship club we're playing against, local derby on Friday. Um, I'm sure that that brought a smile to your face when you think that um, that's the first target is to, to go and make an influence on a, a derby fixture. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I know how much the, the game means to both set of fans, so... Um, and obviously I've seen the results in the league up till now. Obviously the focus changes when it comes to a cup, but look, you want to progress in all cups. So um, I think it's it's really important that hopefully we get the win and uh, go in there with confidence because of the results over the last few weeks and yeah, take it as it comes. Well, we're always really interested as supporters how these deals come about. Um, I was going to speak with John Potter there in the way in about um, you know some other kind of pieces that we're about to film with him. Uh, so he gave us a wee bit of insight. Um, how key is it um, to know through that recruitment process that you're being valued and looked after? I think it's really, really important. Like John's been brilliant with me. Um, I actually know his brother Brian from Hamilton, but uh, they they speak uh, very alike. But um, no, it makes a difference uh, knowing that you're wanted somewhere. And um, for me. Obviously, I knew the situation at the moment, right, that they've been a bit unlucky with injuries and obviously you and getting sent off uh, last two weeks ago um, or last week. So uh, it's an opportunity for me and John made me feel welcome as soon as I went in the door because it is tough coming in somewhere new. I obviously know the faces from playing against them, but personally, you don't really know them. So um, it can be quite daunting as a player, no matter what age you are. So um, John's been really, really good with that, as of all the other staff. So... Um, no, it's been it's been really easy settling so far. Well, normally I'm guided by a list of questions that I've got written down, but this time I'm guided by the fact that the clock's ticking and you've got a training session in four minutes. Um, our staff, as you've met, are great to work with. I don't want to be in the wrong side of them, and I most certainly don't want to get you in the wrong side of them. Welcome to Wraith Rovers. Thank you. Good luck on Friday. Hope you settle in with the, the squad, and uh, I hope you have a great time here in Kirkcaldy. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Cheers.